What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a waist belt review coming at you from the lovely people at Yaana Fitness. So today we're talking about waist training, today we're talking about eating habits and exercises that you can couple with it so that you can be snatched for summer 2019. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, definitely stay tuned. <laughs> Like I was saying, we got a waist training review coming at you. Yes. So, Yaana Fitness sent us this lovely waist belt. I want you guys to see it in, in its entirety. It is really durable. I mean, I can, I mean, that sauna effect from this material on the inside and all of this Velcro. Woo, honey. Let me tell you something. You do cardio in this, that waist is going to be snatched for its life. Yes. So I'm just gonna put it on so you guys can see the total. The total back is getting my slippers off here. Y'all like my shirt? It says sandwich. I cut it myself. Do look like it? Burlington. Yes. All right. So let me get it on here. So you guys can see. So this is how we have it here. All right. So we're gonna wrap it around here. Wait, this has the Velcro, sorry. So we're gonna wrap it this way. <laughs> now I think, um, you know, that's optional, but take this first wrap and you're gonna put it on this one. Now I had a lady or one of my clients, she asked me, how do you know where to put the waist belt? So I would say it's a comfortable spot between like right under the boob and like right where your, I guess your fupa would be, right? So like this area right here, you wanna make sure it is hella tight. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna make sure it's hella tight. Make sure you pull it really hard. And then I'm gonna take this one over here and make sure I pull it all the way over to the left side. And then now it's securely, it's secure and it's on. So you get a full 360. Troller for you guys. I like my pants. Forever 21. <laughs> so now that you guys have a view of that, you know, I get asked a lot um, about waist belts. Do they work? And I, honestly, I'm going to say, yeah, they work. Um, when you get a quality waist belt, don't go to Five Below. And no shade, no hater shade to Five Below, guys. You know, you is your world. I just live in it, right? Um, if you want something that's that's really durable, that's like gonna really get, really create that true sauna effect, you gotta get you gotta get a real quality waist belt. Number one, number two, this is not like this one magic pill that you have to do. All I have to do was go work out once a week and wear my waist trainer, and I'm gonna be snatched. Nope, nope. Your stomach will not disappear, honey. Um, so we're gonna get into a little bit of science, but I'm still gonna keep it simple because I don't like complicating shit, guys. I'm just gonna keep it real one, two, three for you, okay? If, if you were in fifth grade, you'll be able to understand this, okay? So here's, here's what we got. With eating habits, okay? You cannot be eating processed junk, okay? So things will have refined sugar, um, just like processed chips, cookies, you can't, you can't do all that waist train and think that you're going to like eliminate, you know, the fat that's around your belly. That's what, what world are you living in? Right? So like, here's, here's my top tips for that. Drink a gallon, a minimal of, of a gallon of water a day. Okay. What that does is one, it flushes your stomach out, your, your system out regardless, okay, of all the impurities and bullshit, just from that, okay? That's not including if you're drinking like teas and all that, so we just gonna start, we're gonna keep it basic and simple, one gallon of water, okay? I want you to eat whole foods. So I'm not saying go to Whole Foods, the market. No, I'm saying eating whole foods. So I'm saying make your meals, ladies, or gents. Um, you know, get vegetables, you know, eat lean protein. I, don't, I personally am a pescatarian, so I don't eat any meat. I have been meatless, I don't know, maybe going to five, six years now, so I don't have any chicken or chicken, turkey, any of that, beef, none of that. I, I just don't eat it. I just have, I just live in my seafood world, 
and I eat plant very plant based. Dairy is on occasion, and I do have like um, non fat, no sugar, no flavor Greek yogurt for protein reasons, and that's it. So like that's that's kind of where I live at, but. I want you to stay away from like all that processed stuff that you might find yourself attracted to, which is like chips or cookies or, or some kind of desserts. You want to stay away from things that are high in sodium and just, just make your meals. So you want to, you know, spinach, leafy greens, kale, um, asparagus, carrots, you know, make like a nice soup, roast some vegetables, okay? Proteins, you know, anything that's baked, Broiled or pan seared is cool. Absolutely no fried, guys. No fried. You can live without fried. I get so many people like, oh, I just want to live my life. You want to live your life? First of all, you shouldn't be eating fried more. You shouldn't even have fried like once a week. Like fried should be like an occasion, maybe once a month, maybe like once a quarter. Yeah, I'm going to get that serious with you. You don't need fried every week. That's too much. Your system is not built for that. But pan seared, baked or broiled, you can live in that. And I feel like it's enough flexibility in that and versatility where you can make so many different dishes, different sauces, different different um, marinades where you can have fun with it at least I do and I've been like I said I've been meatless for so long now I've never gotten bored and I don't have fried I don't I don't have to have fried okay um so let's get let's get past that uh that misconception that you can eat what you want if you waste training you work out once a week according to the heart health association because I'm gonna quote somebody else on this okay because I would have you in here for longer, but according to the Heart Health Association, yes, of America, yes, they're saying that minimum required cardio you need, people, okay, is 30 minutes a day. You do the math. 30 minutes a day. So if you're not doing at least 30 minutes a day of just cardio, what do you expect that fat, what do you expect your fat to do? That fat going still going to stay there. So you're like, oh, I'm doing everything. I'm like, you know, I'm eating. I'm, I'm, I think I'm eating good. And I've been like working on my abs. And I've been like working out. No, honey, if you're not getting a minimum of 30 minutes of cardio a day, okay, then I, we we can't even have a conversation. Okay, we we gotta we gotta get you there. So make that a goal. If you if you're not in the gym, hey, listen, guys, I understand you're not trying to be in the gym. You're not trying to be on a machine for seven days a week. So what you can do is be smart about it. Why don't you turn that 30 minutes of cardio uh, for seven days a week into an hour of cardio for five days a week? You see what I did there? You see what I did? Yes. Numbers. What we have to aim to do in order to see a difference in our waist, guys, is to create a calorie deficit. So that's why it's imperative that you drink that gallon of water, that you eat those whole foods, and you're not taking in, you know, um, waste, useless calories. Because we're creating that calorie deficit, so the body will respond properly. Once you're doing a great, you know, you're combining it with a great workout regimen, food regimen, and you're also waist training on top of it, okay? So I'm just trying to give you guys all the keys. I'm dropping these gems to you, okay? So that we can all win and be snatched for summer 2019, yes. So what I also did for you guys is I'm gonna show you a few exercises that you can do with the waist trainer in the gym or at home so that you can live your best life and then you can be like, Iris, Thank you so much because my waist is so snatched from the tips that you gave me. So if you guys were receptive to all the tips that I just gave you, I want you to put snatched in the comments. Yes, snatched. Thank you. So let's go to the gym and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so here's the waist trainer. Just getting you guys reacquainted with it. Look how lovely it looks with my outfit today. And we're gonna go ahead and start with our first exercise. All right, guys, so the first exercise we have are weighted V-ups. You're gonna grab a five to 15 pound dumbbell. Kind of use your judgment with this, guys. You're gonna bring that dumbbell behind your head, and then you're gonna reach it all the way up and attempt to touch your shoelaces. At all times, you wanna remember to have our core engaged so make sure you keep that navel to spine and you're going to inhale at the bottom exhale at the top and you know don't lose track of what you're what you're doing make sure that you keep your form 
All right, guys, we're going to move on to our Russian twist. You're going to have those legs elevated. In any case, you find that that is too challenging. You can place your heels on the floor. It is just as effective. You want to make sure we keep that navel to spine and keep that core engaged at all times, twisting from side to side. We are really targeting the obliques and really going to put and cinch that waistline guys so back and forth make sure you breathe out and make sure your form is awesome and you're ready to go next up we got flutter kicks guys so you're gonna put those dumbbells away and we're going to go ahead and place our hands under our bum and we're gonna have our feet out ahead of us and we're just gonna do slow kicks up nothing too stressful make sure you keep your lower back on the floor we don't want to put unnecessary tension on our lower back so make sure there is no arch there now our focus of course is the core just breathe in and breathe out all right, guys, I want you to roll it over into a low plank because now we're going to go into our plank twist where you're just going to twist side to side. Make sure you keep that spine neutral. Keep that butt tucked. I don't want it in the air so that we can make sure that we're really targeting our sides, our obliques of our abs, navel to spine. Make sure that core is strong. Doing this for 30 seconds is certainly effective. All right, guys, lastly, we have our plank knee taps. What you're going to do is hold that low plank position. Make sure that spine is neutral and that butt is tucked. And we are going to tap our knee onto the mat. Okay, make sure through all this you are breathing. Inhale, exhale, and keep that core really strong the entire time. So welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed those exercises that I gave you. Be sure to pair that and do that just like, you know, three to four times a week with your regular, you know, uh, workout routine. And I guarantee you, you definitely will see a difference. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can get those latest notifications. And give this video a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, drop it in the comments or you can email me. Hey, let's be friends. Follow me on Instagram. Let's get, get with me on Twitter. I'm on Snapchat, guys. Wherever you live, I'm living. Let's connect, okay?